Hello everybody, in this lesson I will discuss a practice example on sketching a parabola in turning point form. Let's do another example. Sketch the parabola y is equal to negative 3 bracket x plus 1 squared. Again we will use the five point plan. Number one, the shape. A's value is negative, therefore it's a sad-faced parabola. Step 2. X-intercepts make Y 0. When we make Y 0, then we end with 0 equals. Now, what happened here was I divided by negative 3 and then also negative 3 here. So 0 divided by negative 3 is 0 and then the negative 3 is gone on the other side. Then, to get rid of the square, I take the square root, and therefore I end with 0 equals x plus 1. Remember, you also take the square root on the other side. So 0 is x plus 1, and we solve x, x is minus 1. Now you see that you have only one x-intercept. Don't worry, that there's nothing wrong with that. You can get that situation. And when we sketch the graph, I will show you now. Step 3 of the 5-point plan, y-intercept make x 0. So when we make x 0, we end with 0 plus 1 squared is just 1 times the negative 3. Therefore, y is equal to negative 3. As a coordinate, the y-intercept is the point 0, negative 3. The turning point is P and Q's value. But remember, here on the x, you will say x plus 1 is 0. Therefore, x is going to be negative 1. And now, where does the 0 come from? If you look at your equation, remember I said it's Q's value. But there's an invisible plus 0. That is why Q's value is 0, the Y of the turning point. And then the axis of symmetry is the X of the turning point. Therefore, X is equal to minus 1. Now our graph. Can you see? Let's zoom in on the turning point that is negative 1 there. But the turning point is negative 1 and 0. And it's also the x-intercept. So that's fine. So that means this graph is bouncing there on the axis. Negative 1 and 0 is the turning point and the x-intercept. Then the y-intercept is the point 0, minus 3. Our axis of symmetry, the dotted line, and you have to give me the equation. x is equal to minus 1. Let's look at the domain and range. Domain, for any parabola, x is an element real. And then the range, you read it from the bottom, but from the bottom upwards, and you zoom in on the y-coordinate of the turning point. Therefore, the range for this graph is y is an element, from negative infinity, not included, up to zero included, which is the Q value. And we also say that this graph has a maximum value of Y is equal to zero. In the next video, I will show you how to find the equation of a parabola when two X intercepts are given. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.